Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. It's been so long since I've shared a video where I just decorate and organize and clean and declutter and all of those fun things. So today I'm going to share a video with you that I have been wanting to film for a while and it is a tiered tray decorating video. So I've seen so many people share on Instagram and on Pinterest and on YouTube all of these beautiful tiered trays. And I don't have tiered trays in the sense of like a typical tray, one that you would find at Target or at Walmart or somewhere like that or Hobby Lobby. I have some tiered trays or things that are like tiered trays, it'll make sense in a second I promise, that I found at the thrift store. So I have two spots that I would like to decorate today and I am going to decorate them using products that I have found Found at Dollar Tree or at the thrift store so I'm really excited to share this with you and if you guys are excited to see some decorating videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so let me turn the camera around and share with you the two spaces that we're going to work on today so this is the first space that we are going to decorate and like I said it's not a typical tiered tray I'm actually not hundred percent sure what the name of this piece is I feel like it definitely has a specific name but I don't know if you guys know what this is called leave it in the comments I found it at the thrift store so long ago and I just thought it was such a neat piece that I had to pick it up it definitely has some wear and tear to it and I want to paint it I really really want to paint it but I know I probably shouldn't I should probably try to restore it but I don't know I think it could look nice with a coat of paint but for now we are just going to leave it as it is I love this little design right through here I don't know if you guys can see it. It's almost like not carved really. It's like they it's like they took the wood out of it and then in like put this piece in there. Um, it's like a different style of wood. And then it has some pieces over here. Oh, actually, you know what? I just realized. So this is what it used to look like. It was raised and then over time it must have been broken off. Well, that's a shame because that would have been really pretty. Oh, and that makes sense because down here it also has that. So, I mean, I'm probably just going to at some point end up taking that off and then restoring the whole thing in some way, but it also has some damage like right here too. But I thought overall it was a neat piece. So it's just sitting right here in the corner of the dining room. So this is the second piece we are going to work on today. I got this at the thrift store forever ago. It is a Lazy Susan, which is pretty cool. We used it once for my mom's surprise birthday party and we actually had cupcakes on it. I'm really excited to decorate this because it's been sitting on the table for so long and it doesn't have any real decoration to it. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And it definitely, like, when I first got it, had some oil on it almost. I think it might have been in a kitchen, maybe had spices on it or something at one point, but I think it's really pretty. I like the color of wood that it is. So those are the two pieces that we are going to work on today. I want to share with you some of the options that I have for pieces to decorate it with, decorate those pieces with. This, this is sort of a tongue twister, isn't it? So I found some things at Dollar Tree to decorate these pieces with, and I also found some... Where else did I go? I found some of the things at the thrift store and then also I got a couple pieces from the Target dollar spot. So I'm trying to decorate these as inexpensively as possible and I think one of the challenges I'm going to have is that these two pieces are so close to each other, they're in the same room and on it, I was trying to think of a different place I could put one of them but honestly I really can't um, think of any other places that I could put it. So I think for now, it'll it'll work so this is the dining room and we have our thrifted table that was $75 for all of the chairs and the table it was an amazing deal I'll link the video where you can see all of the thrifted stuff that we found for our new home um, I'll link that in the cards so as you can see these are really close together so they're they're definitely going to have to be similarly styled but not exactly the same they're just gonna have to work together they're gonna have to work as a team so now I want to share with you some of the pieces that I found to decorate with and just give you an idea of what we're going to be working with what our options are so here are some of the pieces I found some florals at Dollar Tree so I picked some of those up some of them I already had these signs I also found at Dollar Tree our nest is best Home is where the family gathers, home sweet home. I like these because they actually have a cutout, so just a little extra added interest. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. I liked the, the look of this with the lemons. This is a little tin that I found at the thrift store forever ago. Oh, there's a price tag on it. <clears throat> $1.99. So I like this. I think it's really pretty. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in it, but we'll have to see. I got these at the Target dollar spot. Hey there, stay a while. That's kind of fun. 
Then I got two of these baskets also at the Target dollar spot. A couple little succulent pieces. This is like a, uh, it's almost like a woven like pot holder. Um, it has metal on the outside, so that's a sturdier piece. I don't know, Keely gave that to me and I don't know if I wanna use it or not. These are a couple pieces that are probably just going to sit on the table. Keely also gave those to me. And here are a few pieces that came out of the garage. Um, these are thrifted things. I've had these forever. Oh, Finley's walking by. Hi, Finn. Oh, hello. You decided you needed to be petted right now? Oh, hi. Hi, Finn. Did you think I was crouching down to pet you? Hi, pup. Can't you want to be in the video? Is that what you're asking for, huh? You're so close you can't even focus on you. Oh, there you are. Such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Bye, puppy. There he goes. So these are some pieces that I've had for quite some time. I either made them with a Dollar Tree DIY or I found them at the thrift store. They are some pieces I've always loved. Let me share these with you. This really beautiful blue vase I've had for so long. It always comes out during spring, so definitely we'll try to use that. I found these really pretty pressed flowers in this frame at a garage sale so long ago. I just think it's a pretty, pretty unique piece. This is something that I made during Valentine's Day in a Dollar Tree DIY. It is the, a love sign that you can buy at Dollar Tree. And then they were selling sheets of moss, I think is what it was called, or just like this faux greenery stuff. So I made that. I'll link that video above in case you'd like to check that out. I've had this alarm clock forever. I think it's so sweet. I have these boxwood plants that they're not, they're just fake. There's like little fake things. So I grabbed a couple of those, these glittery gold birds that I've had for so long. They usually come out at Christmas, but they could work now too. I love this basket. I've never, I uh, know I did, I used this in the um, Goodwill challenge last year, but I think this is so beautiful. I love this. I have another one in the kitchen just like it, except it's in a lighter color, but this one is my favorite. So I think I'm going to start with the bigger piece right over here because I have some pieces like this basket that are not going to fit on the smaller tiered tray. So I'm just gonna start working on this one first. Put that right there. Probably should angle it out because it's sort of angled out into the room. So there's that. Could look kind of cool to put like the hay there in the top and then stay a while some like somewhere down here in the bottom. I kind of like that, yeah. Hmm, let's see what else I could put there. Oh, maybe this could go in here. Maybe these could kind of like overlap. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that, I think it looks good. I have these candlesticks that I think I might, ooh, this could look really cool. If I put some here, which one is taller? Okay, cool. So even though these candlesticks look pretty similar, they are actually different. This one is a little more rounded on the bottom, and this one is a little more narrow, and it's also taller. So I think I'm going to put these ones on the tiered tray that I have on the table, and these ones in this one. So I actually kind of like how that looks now. So I just closed the blinds so there wasn't so it wasn't so backlit. But I like this piece, this milk glass piece. I think it's kind of pretty. So put that there. I mean we could put a basket in it. Eh. Could put a basket on its side here. No. Maybe I could put the basket on its side. Maybe our nest is best. That could be kind of funny for the birds. Kind of looks like they're building a nest. I've used this this faux um, wow, what's this stuff called? Faux fern in the Dollar Tree DIYs a lot in the past. Thinking, put some candles all around it. Hello everyone. So I started sharing with you the process of setting up a couple tiered shelves and a tiered tray in our dining room. And I started sharing that with you last week. And for some reason in the middle of the entire project, I just felt super defeated. I just felt like I wasn't happy with how it was turning out. And I just got frustrated and I just stopped doing anything with it. And I just sort of left it as it was. And I was in my head thinking, I'm not gonna share it. I'm not, I don't think it's perfect, you know, and I just didn't want to share it and then today I just came downstairs and I looked at it and I was like you know what 
I'm using things that I have at home. I'm not going out and buying anything right now because Sean and I are staying at home um, as much as we can. And so the goal of this project wasn't to make something that looks perfect. The goal of the project was to use what I have and makes a space look nice. And I feel that I accomplished that. I realized that, you know, with that in mind and, you know, using what I have on hand, that it did turn out really nice and that, um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, perfect for me to share it with you. So it's about a week later and I decided to turn the camera back on today and I wanna share with you what I was able to do. And like I said, I used what I had on hand. A lot of stuff was damaged in the move, unfortunately. Um, and so some things that I would have probably reached for prior at our old home aren't available anymore. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with how it turned out. I'm, I'm more okay with how one of them turned out than the other, but um, yeah. Let me just share with you what it looks like now. So this is the first piece that I want to share with you. This is the one I'm not that happy with because everything that I was able to set up, you were only able to actually get the whole picture of it from one angle. Um, there's nothing on the back of it right now. And that's something that I want to do a little more research on when it comes to tiered trays. How do you make them look good from all angles? And I think part of the issue that I have is um, I just don't have a lot of stuff to put on it. So um, this is a sign that I got at Dollar Tree. It says, our nest is best. And then I have these two gold glittery birds that I thought looked kind of cute sitting next to that sign because it says our nest is best and then I have this basket that I got at the Target dollar spot and I just put some fern from the Dollar Tree in there and a couple candlesticks right there as well so I'm I'm okay with how it looks I do like the combination of all of the different textures and colors that are in this piece they're you know neutral and earthy looking and I really I really like that I really love the color of this piece itself I, I like the deep wood color normally I want to spray paint everything but I kind of just want to leave this as it is which is which is a surprise so I'm okay with this one it's not my favorite um, but I am happy with it and the other piece that I worked on is right here it is this tiered shelf that I found at the thrift store like I said I'm not crazy with how it looks but I I am happy with it for now like I said, it's using everything that I already had on hand. I actually just brought this from upstairs. I just have these. I think it's supposed to be a hydrangea, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I found those at a, a, the thrift store at a garage sale, I believe. And they're inside of this milk bottle right there. And then I have this matching set. It says, hey there. And then down here, it says, stay a while. Those came from the Target dollar spot. I have it sitting inside of this basket. On top of this, I think it's meant for like uh, things that are hot almost like you could put like a pot on it um, at the dining room table so or it's like a centerpiece it could be a centerpiece as well um, but I have that sitting there just so that I could be using it because I didn't really know what else to do with it and I thought it sort of fit there nicely and then on the second shelf I have this gold tray right here that I put some of the this fake greenery in I always love using that piece I think it's really pretty and a couple candlesticks on either side and then some birds as well. I like it. I think it's simple. It is sort of along the same color scheme as everything else in the room. And I just, I think it's, it's a nice way to use the stuff that I have on hand. And, um, I really, I, I like the message as well. And that's all for this thrifted and Dollar Tree DIY tiered tray decor video <laughs> that's a really long title um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i had in our home to decorate with and i hope that you enjoyed seeing how i sort of challenged myself to only use things that we have and you know try to optimize the amount of things that we have on these shelves but not making them too cluttered at the same time let me know if you have any suggestions about making the tiered decor look really nice from all sides just because you know i'm thinking about especially this piece that's on the table if we have guests over and we're sitting at the table it's going to look really weird from the one side so um let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to um, make it look nice from all sides i hope that you enjoyed seeing how i decorated these two tiered trays using dollar tree and thrift store items if you did enjoy the process please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already please check out my my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!